most common question I hear is, is there anything I can do about my deflated breasts? I also want to encourage my patients really to listen to their gut. If they feel like the procedure is right for them and they feel like they've found somebody that they can trust, it's going to make the process a lot more natural for them. I think the uh, women's top hesitation is what's going to be the downtime or the time away from their family. They want to know how much time they're going to be um, recovering from these procedures. The most common thing I hear after women is how happy they are. They can't believe they didn't do it sooner. I think women are most surprised that things can be done in a conservative approach. I think women should be asking um, when's the most appropriate time to do these procedures. We want to encourage women to um, go, for, go, for with, go ahead with surgery when it's a time that they can have somebody helping them around the house, a time when they can take off work and be a little bit less involved in the family. We really want to make sure that women are choosing appropriate time for them. What I um, enjoy most is watching them return back to activities that they might have refrained from. I think the best piece of advice I have is for women to not feel guilty. You know, they should come in with this, um, with an attitude of it is their turn. They, they have the ability to take time away from their family and do something for themselves. So get educated about it and see if this is the right procedure for them. And afterwards they realize that once they've taken this time for themselves, they're sort of ready to get back in and take care of everybody else again. So I think that once they're done with the procedures, the guilt is completely gone. The first step I recommend is going to the website, itsmyturn.com. There's lists of questions that you can ask a board certified plastic surgeon. There's patient experiences on there, and there's also a uh, locate a doctor tool. Natrell breast implants, important information. Who may get breast implants? Natrell breast implants are approved for women for the following. Breast augmentation for women at least 22 years old for silicone-filled implants. Breast augmentation for women at least 18 years old for saline-filled implants. Breast augmentation includes primary breast augmentation to increase breast size, as well as revision surgery to correct or improve the result of a primary breast augmentation surgery. Breast reconstruction. Breast reconstruction includes primary reconstruction to replace breast tissue that has been removed due to cancer or trauma or that has failed to develop properly due to a severe breast abnormality. Breast reconstruction also includes revision surgery to correct or improve the result of a primary breast reconstruction surgery. Important safety information. Who should not get breast implants? Women with active infection anywhere in their body. Women with existing cancer or precancer of their breast who have not received adequate treatment for those conditions. Women who are currently pregnant or nursing. What should I know before getting breast implants? Breast implants are not lifetime devices and not necessarily a one-time surgery. Many of the changes to your breasts following implantation cannot be undone. If you later choose to have your implants removed and not replaced, you may experience unacceptable dimpling, puckering, wrinkling, or other cosmetic changes of the breast, which may be permanent. Breast implants may affect your ability to breastfeed, either by reducing or eliminating milk production. Rupture of a silicone-filled breast implant is most often silent and may not be detected by you or your doctor. You should have an MRI three years after your surgery and then every two years after that for as long as you have your breast implants to determine if rupture is present. If implant rupture is noted on an MRI, you should have the implant removed with or without replacement. With breast implants, a routine screening, mammography, and self-examination for breast cancer will be more difficult. Ask your doctor to help you distinguish the implant from your breast tissue. Symptoms of a ruptured implant may be hard knots or lumps surrounding the implant or in the armpit, change or loss of size or shape of the breast or implant, pain, tingling, swelling, numbness, burning, or hardening. Tell your doctor of these symptoms and remove ruptured implants. Inform any other doctor who treats you of the presence of your implants to minimize the risk of damage to the implants. What should I tell my doctor? Tell your doctor if you have any of the following conditions, as the risks of breast implant surgery may be higher. Autoimmune diseases, for example, lupus and scleroderma. A weakened immune system, for example, currently taking drugs that weaken the body's natural resistance to disease. 
planned chemotherapy following breast implant placement, planned radiation therapy to the breast following breast implant placement, conditions or medications that interfere with wound healing and blood clotting, reduced blood supply to breast tissue, clinical diagnosis of depression or other mental health disorders, including body dysmorphic disorder and eating disorders, Please discuss any history of mental health disorders with your surgeon prior to surgery. Patients with a diagnosis of depression or other mental health disorders should wait for resolution or stabilization of these conditions prior to undergoing breast implantation surgery. What are some complications with breast implants? Key complications are reoperation, implant removal with or without replacement, implant rupture with silicone filled implants, implant deflation with saline filled implants, and severe capsular contracture, severe scar tissue around the implant. Other complications include asymmetry, nipple, breast, skin sensation changes, scarring or wrinkling and rippling. Talk to your doctor about other complications. Talk to your doctor. For more information, see the patient brochures at www.allergan.com slash labeling slash USA slash HTM. To report a problem with Natrell Inspira breast implants, please call Allergan at 1-800-433-8871. Natrell breast implants are available by prescription only.